Hello guys, Max2015, welcome back to another episode of uh, VP Pushing in Boom Beach. It's been about a day and a half since I played because of work mainly, so my victory point has dipped down into the 1257. I also um, rearranged my base into a center base because I found out that my, my corner base hasn't been doing too well and I've been raiding, I've been getting raided about three to four times a day. Uh, part of that could be because I've had this hot pot in here hasn't been performed as well as I hope it to be but you know we, we still had to give it a try and I'm still debating whether I should put down a grappler uh, once this one expires um, also uh, fair notice uh, it's morning time here in New York as I'm recording this so in the morning there's always gonna be a lot of trucks and noise coming out of uh, my windows uh, it's, it's New York City I don't know what else to tell you so please excuse that I do not have insulation in the house to kind of keep all that stuff away but if you can just bear with it we can probably still get through the game um, also you'll notice I have a uh, whoops no, do not boost I have five actually yeah 15 hours I have five of my ice statues boosted that was also because I know I knew I wasn't going to be playing in the past day and a half in fact I didn't expect to be playing right now but that's why I boosted all these statues so I uh, hope to minimize the rates on my base but since I kind of found a little bit of time this morning, I thought we'll just go give it a try. So I scouted most of my bases. Uh, they're all pretty well suited to RZM or RZZM on some of them. So I just had RZZM train. This one here, Jordan Ahmad, is the easiest one on my map. Uh, just because he only has literally just one ice statue, a defensive building damage. And it is boosted, but without building health, the base itself is not going to be challenging at all. So we're just gonna, you know, go ahead and pummel out of it. I do have my four standard offensive statues boosted, my three uh, masterpieces and one guardian. So there we go. In fact, I think we can just we can get rid of one more, just because I can. Uh, we'll just do the rocket launcher. Yeah, and just like that, with gunboat energy alone, we got, we've gotten rid of all the big splash damage defenses from the base so i'm just gonna put the, the bases i kind of paused there because i wasn't too sure if there are any mines behind the statues but you know yolo so i'm gonna put some critters take out some of those mines and distract some of the defenses i'm really not too concerned with this base but i'm still throwing a med kit um in front of that Ooh, let me just shock this shot launch uh Shot launcher? Yeah. No, not shot launcher. Uh, shot blaster. Um, so I was saying I still threw a medkit in front of the flamethrower just because they, they are boosted. So, you know, they can still claim a whole bunch of my rifles. So I'm not careful. Um, in here, I'm really not going to do much reflaring at all. I'm just going to let my troops take out the entire base. Uh, what I can do is just keep, th keep on throwing some craters, distract some of those cannons. Maybe the mortars would be a little bit dangerous, but again, I'm not really worried at all. If we lose a decent amount of troops, then we lose some troops, but no biggie, like I said. Uh, actually, they're gonna, they're even, uh, this little group here in the top is even going for the shield, so I was thinking I'll just move all the, sh all the troops down here to wear down the shield, but there was really no need for it. Uh, the troops themselves just took care of the whole thing. All right, so that was a nice first base to warm up. I'm just gonna retrain everybody here, and then we can start moving on to some a little bit more challenging bases. Uh, so this base here, it's it's just about the same, but this time he has two two ice statues. Both of them boosted. He doesn't have a shock blaster. He does have uh, he has all the rockets and these and the mortar amplified. Um, in fact, he, he's amplified everything that's dangerous to RZM, so I can probably still just throw one shock in the middle of there, get most of them. Yeah, most likely. Uh, so I think we're just going to go straight in also. Uh, with two ice statues, I, I'm not, I don't expect it to be incredibly difficult. Uh, hmm, what should we take? You know what, I was going to go for this rocket here, but we'll do this one instead. The reason for that is, uh, you'll see in a second, let me try to get those two, is that these two rockets and this mo the mortar there, I can, I can shock all of those. 
So I rather shock the mortar because one one shell from that thing can just kill an entire group of my troops. So uh, I like to try to minimize casualties if possible. He has some secret patches full of mines in there, so I'm just gonna throw a couple of artilleries. Um, don't really want to risk much there. Everything in the front run, except for that little machine gun, is uh, is single shot, so I should be okay. I have to really be careful with uh, the rocket launchers, though. Like I said, when, when they're amplified, they, they can be absolutely brutal. So, I have to be careful and conserve uh, right there. I have, I'll probably have to start shocking them early. Uh, two amplified rockets sh shooting at rifles is probably one of the worst ideas. So, oh man, how come all my troops are red? Alright, throw another shot. Okay. Uh, oof. It's a little messy now. Uh, let me just put some critters. I need to save enough for one more shock right there. Okay, I think we will be okay. Uh, man, those mortars, like I said, absolutely deadly. Oh, uh, actually, I'm gonna need one more shock because the rock is gonna come offline, come online. And I, okay, I did shock the, the flamethrower. Man, things are getting really tight now. I'm running out of troops. That rocket launcher has to go down. That mortar in the front needs to go also. Um, okay, so I think we'll be okay. I did lose a lot of troops, so you know what? what should we do? I'm not too sure. I'm just gonna put some critters in there, maybe distract them. I was thinking about reflaring all the troops back down, but maybe doing so would cost me, you know, time. So wow, I ended up with only three Zuka shooting at that HQ. So, so yeah, those critters I threw right there at the very end, they actually saved my raid. Man, I didn't lo expect to lose this many troops in there, though. Wow. And that was only two ice statues. And and I think his shield was just a shield level 1. It wasn't a level 3 for sure. Alright. Just need a, a sip of coffee there. Let's see. I am 19.99. What's he got? He'll, oh, he's boosted. He boosted big time. Hmm. 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 He has a hot pot. I don't think. Uh, no, no. I have faced bases with hot pots before. Hmm. All right. So, uh, this might be a little tricky. And I'm gonna have to save a shock for that hot pot there. All right. Let's see. Oh, he's online. All right, moving on. This one, I think it was kind of a well, not four eye statues, only one boosted. Uh, I think it'll be okay. So, all right. I think we're also gonna go. Oh, is he online? Looks like he's training troops. All right, he's not online. Good. All right, let me just go classic way here. One artillery. Uh. One barrage, one artillery, I'm sorry. One more here. We can get those two residences. Yeah. And one more up there. Okay. Good. So now, uh, let's put three rifles. Wow. I, I'm so sorry for that. I don't know whose phone number was that. I hope the recording is still good. This is the first time I receive a phone call during gameplay while recording. Alright, so I think we're gonna shock the shock blaster and the and the shock launcher. Those those are probably the most problematic of all defenses. I'm gonna throw one more as I'm getting closer. It looks like I lost a lot of rifles. Look, my first boat only has six guys left. Why? Uh, I have one more shot ready right there. Can I get the mortar? Oh, it did. Good. It's hard to see what gets shot when the cryoneers have them frozen because everything is kind of white colored. Ah, oh, I'm so low on Zookas. One more shot there. Um, one artillery in that one. Med kit. Uh, oh man, my troops are wearing so thin now. Alright, let's, let's regroup a little bit. Don't get killed. Oh, my medics, they need to go down there too. Alright, I, I have some GBE. 
I think we can do this. We just have to get rid of that mortar boom cannon on the top there. You know what? I'm just gonna go... Should I shock it? I'll wait a few more seconds to shock it. I'm gonna drop some critters. And I'm gonna shock now. Yeah, mainly because I'm more concerned with the mortar rather than the boom cannon there. Man, I don't have a lot of troops left. Oof. Those boom cannons need to go down. Come on, guys. Oh, I don't... Oh. Oh, God. That mortar got all my troops. Shock it. Oh, was that a bad idea? Oh, he got all my troops. Oh, man. I only have, what, seven Zookas left? Crap. Oh, man. I miscalculated something in there. Wow. Oh, man. This person won't stop calling me. Okay, what happened? Four Zook. Oh no, they're not gonna be enough to wear down the shield. Oh man, I did not expect that. Oh. Wow, that sucked. A one ice boosted, I couldn't beat him. I'm so sorry for those phone calls, guys. Uh. That was pretty awful. We're gonna try again. I think we're gonna have to move upwards to the left side. Take down the shield first. Man, I completely uh, oh, underestimated this base. I really did, I have to admit. Mainly because of the mortars. The mortars are so dangerous down there. Um, all right, so this is what we're gonna do. Let's try it a little bit different. We're gonna attack from the corner. And this time I'm gonna take out the rocket launchers instead. One barrage, two artilleries on each. Hopefully that'll take care of them. It does, okay. Now we're gonna go rifles. Uh, I need some of those rifles in the front there to be sacrificial ones to that boom mine. Once, and then we're gonna throw a smoke and a smoke down here. All right, let everyone gather up there. Uh, man, so, such a big minefield in the front there, though. Alright, you know what? Let's get ready. Critters. Another box of critters. <laughs> Help with those mines. Alright, good. So, marginally better, I think. Oof. What was that? Those were mines. I got all my guys right there. And some more critters. And now, we need to be shocking the shock blaster and the shot launcher. I don't really like having to deal with two shot launchers because, well, obviously, two of them will keep on halting all your troops, so it makes it really difficult to attack with. You know, and in some respects, it might be better than having to deal with two rockets, you know, raining down on your troops. Man, my troops are already wearing super, super, super thin. Um... I think we're gonna be okay still. Um, Alright, they're actually doing pretty well. I'm gonna shock those two mortars. Because I think those two were. Oh, my troops look so thin though. Come on, guy. Alright, if they can take out that one more mortar from there, which they're just about to. And the boom cannon, I don't wanna wait too long. Come on, take out the boom cannon. Alright, now regroup. Smoke. And smoke here. I need medics to survive. All right, we have most of our zookas. We still have a shock left. Okay, this time I think we're gonna have it. Um, I'm just gonna shock that mortar, flamethrower. There's still a whole bunch of mines, so hopefully my troops won't be stupid enough to walk on all of them. Uh, actually, yeah, I have enough for another shock, so I'm just gonna use the shock instead. Uh, run med kit. I, I don't even know if I saved any rifles in there. So one more shot. Show all those defenses there. And this time we got it. Should have just gone up this way from the beginning. Um, you know what? Don't waste time. Just go straight for the HQ. There we go. Got it. Nice. We made it with 20 Zookas left and all of our medics left. Pretty good. Should have gone that way in the first place. 
Well, that's part of uh, what Boom Beach is. You need to make adjustments sometimes. Uh, all right. So next base, center layout. So mix it up. Two ice statues, not boosted. So again, I'm gonna expect this to be a, a fair walk in the park. I really do. So we're gonna attack from one side. So let's just take these two out. One artillery on the rocket and two on the shock launcher. And there's a lot of mines here. So you know what, I'm just gonna get rid of at least three of them. There you go. And now we're gonna smoke the troops up to a little past that cannon. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, all right, so flare. And one smoke, a smoke, and smoke. All right. Oh, come on, guys, get in there. <laughs> wow, I still lost a lot of troops. No matter, no matter. So can I get the rocket launcher and the shot launcher together? Yes, there we go. Put some critters, distract some of that stuff up, up there. All right. And now, rather than the rocket launcher, I'm gonna shock the shock blaster instead, just because it does so much more damage. Met kit on those guys in the front. Man, I feel like medkits are not doing much recently. Another shock. Uh, sorry guys, my night my nose is itchy, so I'm like I'm trying to rub my nose. Uh, all right, once the boom cannon goes down, we need to flare them so they can regroup. Shot. Oh man, that mortar on the top. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh. Oh my God, that they take so long to go for that shock blaster. Come on, I need my Zookas to survive. There's too much stuff shooting at us. Come on, finish off that flamethrower. There we go. Alright, now move to the corner. Alright, regroup, heal, and get some gunboat energy. And then go for the shield, and then we'll go for the kill after that. Man, and this was a non-boosted base, and look how much, how many troops I've lost already. Had this been a boosted base, this would have been an absolute loss already. Yeah. A few things I didn't do too well. Alright, come on, move down. Uh, some critters. It'll distract those boom cannons. Uh, but that mortar might, and yeah, that mortar's gonna kill all of them quickly. It'll still buy my troops a few seconds. And as long as the rifles are in front, it's okay. Okay, this base going down now. Good. There we go. Nice, we got a critical fuser. Yeah, good. Okay, how are we getting on time? Uh, oh, that's about 19 minutes. Hmm. Uh, 19 minutes. Still a whole bunch of bases left though. Uh, all right, you know what? I'm gonna stop this video here, guys. Um, I'm gonna keep recording. I'll, I'll split it in a second part. So go ahead and try to catch that later. We're actually doing pretty good on gold. Um, granted, all the bases we've attacked in this particular reader were pretty easy, so I can't complain about that. Our VP is back up to 1265, a little bit higher, but not quite as high yet. So we'll split it uh, and we'll keep on attacking on the next video, guys. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.